G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Alright, so it's Monday evening here in Australia, gearing up for Monday morning uh, over in the States and for all the sort of, you know, traditional markets to open up and we're going to wait and see what happens to Bitcoin. It's been ranging for a while and look, it could range for a little while. But what I noticed, uh, and most of these are from just Cointelegraph, but it's the theme at the moment, DeFi is massive. If you're not in DeFi already, I would have to ask why. Why haven't you got into it until now? It is making unbelievable gains. And look, I think there's still more to come. But in saying that, I want to go over here and I'll quickly show you this. The top 30 cryptocurrencies gained 300% on average in 2020. 300%. So things are moving very quickly. And look, in the last couple of weeks of just 2021 uh, things have been moving quite fast so for me uh, I've taken some profits today now look not too much I just took some from uh, secret network it's up like 500% since I got in so I got my initial investment back uh, and just a little bit of profit and literally just a tiny bit of profit uh, and, and so I cashed that out I didn't put it into Bitcoin at the moment because I'm waiting to see what Bitcoin does if we have a dip I'll put it into Bitcoin. Uh, if not, I'm happy to just have it in cash uh, and earning interest in there. Now, again, I'm not a massive believer in cash, but we still need cash. Now, again, not so much cash, but the dollar. Uh, I also sold a couple of Aave, uh, literally only two and a half of them, and I got my money back uh, and some, uh, and the rest is now basically just yeah, money for jam. And, uh, um, you know, Aave's done extremely well for me. So I only had to sell 2.5 out of the you know, I don't know, 30 something that I had uh, and I got my money back. So, you know, now I'll just leave Ave and see what happens. But in saying that, you know, we go back over here. Uh, look, the big movers, and let's go here, DeFi. You know, DeFi has just been going crazy. And look, things uh, could possibly still get a whole lot crazy here. But look at, you know, some of these gains over the last seven days. And look, they've been going up for about, you know, nearly sort of two weeks now. So this is only some of it. So for me, I'm taking some uh, off off the prof, off the top. I took some of the profits, put it into cash. Now, again, not too much. I literally only sold two things and took some cash. Haven't done anything with synthetics, uh, synthetic network at the moment. Uh, just because the ones I have a uh, are mostly staked and the ones I have available selling them at the moment just isn't really worth it but I do plan to take some profits now again it, it's not to say I'm cashing out completely I'm definitely not doing that and I want to increase my Bitcoin position and my ethereum position what I have done though is taken some you know again some dollars uh, put it into USDC uh, and put it into BlockFi so I can earn interest there now, as I said, not, you know, I don't really like cash slash the dollar, you know, it's uh, devaluing all the time, but you can't buy dips uh, unless you have cash on the side. So uh, that's what I'm doing. And again, you know, for a lot of things, like you can't walk into a car dealership uh, and buy, you know, a car with crypto. Some places will accept it, but most generally won't at the moment. So cash, uh, it is, you know, cash slash the dollar. It is still king at the moment. So just to let you all know, my viewers know, I have taken some profits. Now, not too much because I think there's still possibly more upside, but it's really because I'm waiting to see what's going to happen with Bitcoin. So as we can see here, Bitcoin, it's just coiling and coiling and coiling and we're waiting to see. Now this could break to the low side. So at the moment, really, if we go below sort of, let's round it up to $33,000, uh, uh, we could be in for a dip sort of coming down to around the 24 mark. Most likely it'll get bought up more around, you know, kind of the 30 mark, sort of around about here. It hasn't dipped below here. But, you know, who knows? Nobody really knows exactly what's going to happen. I do think we're more likely to keep calling for a little bit and then break out to the upside. But if we put in all the moving averages and that, we're still, you know, sort of well uh, well above them. I don't think we're even close to the 50-day moving average, let alone uh, the 100 and 200-day moving average. So just things to consider, hence why I took some cash. But as I said, I was looking over here at DeFi, uh, DeFi and, you know, asking why you aren't in it. So SBF leads $50 million funding round to bring DeFi to maps.me's uh, 140 million users. We go over here. Why DeFi plus 
asset tokenization will uh, will take crypto to new heights. We go over here. Uh, synthetic dreams wrapped crypto assets gain traction amid surging market. And where was it down here? Over the last three months, synthetics has been undergoing significant growth, rising from around 500 million locked in late October to over 2.3 billion uh, at the time of writing, according to DeFi Pulse. So that is basically it's forexed uh, the amount that's locked up in it, and you have to you know lock up. Uh, so you have to lock up our uh, SNX tokens or ETH or, or you know something similar like that. So that means the price has basically done the same. And I can say that uh, synthetics has performed extremely well for me. I have taken some profit out of Signet, uh, um, synthetics a while ago, uh, and I put it into Bitcoin and ETH, and they both went up. Uh, and then I took some of those profits out of Bitcoin and ETH and put them back into synthetics. So I'm kind of jumping back and forwards between the two every now and then. Nothing too major, just a little bit, and it's worked reasonably well for me. But again, I will likely take some profits from synthetics at some stage. Just at the moment, I'm happy to let it ride. And again, with Aave, it was easy to do it because it had performed so well for me. But look, we go over here, DeFi bull run. Why Aave and Sushi are surging despite Bitcoin uncertainty. I really do believe DeFi is going to be something massive in the future. Now again, we always need to keep in the back of our mind at some stage there will be retracements and there will be a bear market. And who knows what the prices of these will do. But I do believe in Aave long term. Uh, I don't plan on selling all my Aave. I'll definitely sell some as I already did. Got my initial investment back and now I can just let the rest uh, ride. Uh, same with synthetics. I don't plan to sell all of them. I will let most of it sort of uh, just continue to work, but I will sell some of them. Uh, again, maybe a excuse me, around about half of them, and then I'll let the rest ride. Uh, and again, so that's my plan. I just wanted to let you know. But DeFi, I believe, is the safer bet uh, of sort of the the altcoins but again not just any DeFi project you got to find good ones and i really uh, like ren uh, i really like ave i really like uh, synthetics i really like chain link uh, and so they are some of my bigger positions and even though i've sold some of them they're still some of my bigger positions and again you know when i see uh, bitcoin start to really get up on a rally I'm going to take some of the profits out of my D, uh, DeFi, put it into Bitcoin, let Bitcoin run because it will get on a run. It'll start leaving everything else behind at some stage. And then when Bitcoin again starts to flatten out, I'll take some of the profits from Bitcoin uh, and put it back into the alts. Now, again, nothing too major. I'm not, you know, trying to out trade the market because that, that can be quite hard. But in a bull market, it's generally not too hard to do. You'll know when the altcoins are started running out of a little bit of steam and then you can generally tell something's going to happen bitcoin is either going to get up on a run or a big correction is going to come one or the other and look we still could have a big correction coming but i just don't think it's going to happen at the moment again we go over to DeFi here you know 23 billion it was not that long ago like last year uh you know it was in the single digit billions you know like back in sort of oh god what was it let's have a look one year I think it was about October, something like that. Let's see if this is going to come up. One year. All right, so back in October, uh, well, just over that $10 billion mark. So, you know, we can go back to sort of, you know, s September. And there we go. We're in the single digits. And now it's double digits. And it just keeps climbing. And, and I expect this to continue to climb. I really, really like DeFi. Now, again, please, none of this is financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. I think if you're going to invest uh, in alts, DeFi is a pretty good space. But do some research about the projects you're getting into. Again, for me, I like Aave. It's way up the top there. Uh, I like Synthetics. It's way up the top there. Uh, I like Ren. Uh, and, and again, so these are all ones that are in the top 10. I'm not saying some of these other ones can't do well. Uh, I just don't know enough about them. I've got some Loopring, so I like Loopring and what they're all about. Uh, I definitely have some Matic uh, network, so it's not like I don't have any of those, uh, and there's a number of other ones. But for me, I think derivatives is going to be massive, and have a look at synthetics. 1.69 billion locked up in it, and its closest competitor you know, is not even at sort of 200 million. 
Now, in saying that, that means the upside for these is massive. Like, you know, if they were to, you know, take up, you know, just sort of 10% or 30 or 40% of the synthetics market, they could really, really move. But I think synthetics are so far out ahead at the moment, and I love what their team is doing. Uh, Kane uh, and, you know, the whole synthetics uh, ecosystem, uh, and they continue to build, and I hope that they continue to build, and they don't ever just kind of get to a point where they think we don't have to do anything more and we don't have to innovate. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a point where they can slow down on the building, but yeah, I am super bullish on synthetics, uh, and yeah, love synthetics, uh, and, and I like DeFi, and again, those are my picks. That's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but they have well and truly outperformed any of my other coins uh, by a country mile. Not so much Ren, so I shouldn't say Ren. I'm still, you know, Ren's doing all right, though. Uh, you know, I've sort of doubled my money in that. Uh, but it hasn't performed as well, but Aave and Synthetics have far outperformed anything else that I got into, and I only wish I had to put in more, you know, like, I can only imagine, you know, if I had to put in, like, you know, I don't know, $10,000 into these uh, back when I invested, and look, I didn't have $10,000 to put into them, so, you know, we can all dream, but, you know, I'll I, I put in, oh, God, I think I put in maybe two or $3,000 into Synthetics, and uh, and, and I did that over time. I think the cheapest price I got of that was 89 cents uh, US. Uh, so it's done uh, extremely well. Again, not life-changing. I can't retire or anything on it, but it's done well. And same uh, with Aave. I actually got into Lend and I got it for like, I don't know, something. I think it was 8 cents or 10 cents uh, US. Uh, and I only put like $400 into it. But it turned into 4000 pretty quickly, so uh, a 10x, uh, and continuing uh, to go now. So as I said, I sold two and a half uh, Aave, uh, got my money back uh, with a tiny bit of profit, and now I can just let uh, the rest of them ride. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, I wanted to go and have a look uh, at the charts. So let's have a look uh, how Link has been doing against Bitcoin. So this was the chart that I had in before, and we could see it was following this line for such a long time, and I thought here... Uh, it was going to get back in. So I built a bigger position uh, in Chainlink, uh, and I was wrong. So then I thought it was going to come down to here uh, and bounce off this. Uh, and I said, if it didn't bounce off this, I thought it would bounce off this. Uh, and look, I built a small position here because I just wasn't sure, uh, and it didn't work out, but it almost perfectly came down and bounced off this line. Now, again, this is against the Bitcoin chart. So yes, it looks like it's going down here, uh, it didn't really go down in dollar value too much. It did get up to 18 and then I think dropped out back down to about 13. So lost sort of $5, but not too bad. It was just outperformed by Bitcoin. But now we can see that it's on an absolute run. Traveled sideways, so keeping up with Bitcoin. Uh, and now it's just outperformed Bitcoin. You know, let's have a look at synthetics uh, versus Bitcoin. As I said, it had been traveling sideways for a while. So keeping up with Bitcoin, but getting slowly higher and higher. Uh, and continuing to slowly move up. Hasn't done anything crazy yet, but what I want to do, sorry, wrong one. Uh, let's go over here and see how it's performed against the dollar. And there's a bit of a pattern emerging. It gets to its peak, and then it slowly travels downwards. It pumps up, goes sideways, then goes on a run. So we can see here, it got to its peak, rolled over, pushed up, traveled sideways a bit, and then went on a big run. Now this is against the dollar, and it's basically doing the same thing again. So again, it rolled over, as we can see, it rolled over here, then it pumped up, traveled sideways, pumped up, traveled sideways a bit, and then went on its next run. And I expect synthetics to continue to do that. Now, it's hard to know whether it has reached its peak here or not. So if you've been in synthetics for a while, and again, you know, maybe a couple of months to, you know, almost sort of a year. Me personally, I don't think this is a bad take to take place to take some profits. Whether you put that into dollars or put it into Bitcoin or put it into Ethereum, that's really up to you. Uh, but again, no one ever lost money taking profits. So if you're in profit and taking some of it, you haven't lost money. People will tell, oh, you know, just leave it and let it ride. That's unrealized gains that you're missing out on. That's right, unrealized. Everything could turn around tomorrow, fall over, and we'd have a 50% correction. And then you've just lost completely. So for me, I was happy to take some gains uh, in synthetics. I think I took them sort of back here on the way down uh, and put them into Bitcoin. So as synthetics continue to go down, 
Bitcoin continued to go up. And then when Bitcoin leveled out, I put some more into synthetics and now it's gone in this run. So I'll probably wait uh, to see you know, where synthetics kind of levels out. And again, keeping an eye on the Bitcoin chart, if we start to break out above this kind of mark here, so really at the moment, if we get above 39,000, then tomorrow it'll be about 38,000. Then the day is after that, again, 38,000. Uh, I will be looking to put more into Bitcoin because I think it'll probably be getting ready to make its next big move. Now, last but not least, Ren. Uh, I was pretty good with this one. Again, I thought it was going to uh, bounce here. I was wrong. I built a position here. Uh, it didn't bounce and it kept going down. And then I said, right here, I'll put this line in. I said, this would be where my next guess is that I'm hoping for it to find support. As it got down to a roundabout here, I did build a position in REN uh, and now it's really started to move. Against This is against Bitcoin. So at the moment, REN is far out pacing Bitcoin and I'm just waiting to see whether we can get back up to the same kind of dominance who knows I could be wrong and it doesn't get up to that kind of dominance but either way it's outperforming Bitcoin at the moment and you know again I'll be keeping an eye on the charts and if I see Bitcoin starting to get up around this kind of $38,000 mark uh, well really I want it to kind of break it and close above it I will be looking to take profits out of alts and putting them into Bitcoin because I think it will go on its next run and start to, you know, just dry up the market a little bit. I expect Bitcoin will do another move to the upside, but nothing's guaranteed. And if I'm wrong, it is quite possible that we come down to around this kind of 24000 ish dollar mark. Uh, more likely, again, we sort of bounce at this kind of thirty two to maybe sort of $30,000 mark. But look, if they if that doesn't hold really the thirty thousand, I would expect us to sort of, you know, maybe we find a bit of support at twenty six, but more likely down around the twenty four thousand dollar mark. All right, last but not least, so we'll just refresh this. We're at one billion and twenty eight, uh, one trillion and twenty eight uh, billion, so one trillion and thirty uh, billion, so moving up a little bit. So again, we've got to wait and see what's going to happen. Monday uh, is coming. And this could be, you know, where Bitcoin starts to make its next move and it will just suck up all of the profits. Everything will naturally gravitate to it, but it might not either. Uh, Ethereum just, yeah, really hovering around that kind of, you know, $1,200 mark. Sometimes it'll drop down a little bit. Sometimes it'll get up to maybe close to 1300 you know, I expect it to make some fairly big moves once it breaks that uh, sort of $1,400 mark, but hasn't done it yet. All right, but we can see, look, BTC dominance is dropping at the moment. It's down 65%. This could go lower and maybe Bitcoin just continues to range sideways for a lot longer. If that happens, alts will continue to uh, do extremely well. But once it all starts to level off, uh, people will start to take profits from their altcoins put it into cash and some back into Bitcoin and Bitcoin will eventually make its next move. It's just when that happens. Do we have a bigger correction first or do we just get ready to pump higher? Again, look, ETH dominance are continuing to grow. So now 13.6, nothing major, but doing all right. And again, we can see uh, Gway sitting, you know, gas sitting around 48, sort of 50. So basically people are out there in the alt markets, uh, you know, trying to trade and flip. Uh, you know, I do a little bit of swing trading, but really it's more just investing, uh, as I've said a number of times. All right, let me know down below. Are you taking any profits at the moment or are you just, not? Nah, I'm going to ride this and just, you know, uh, this has got way more legs on it. And if you're taking profits, are you taking profits into dollars or are you putting it back into Ethereum and Bitcoin? I've taken some cash. Uh, and I'll probably possibly take some more cash over the next few days if Bitcoin just continues to range. Uh, but then I'll also be taking, and this is out of my other alts, not Bitcoin or Ethereum, they're staying as they are. But I will start to take some of my profits after that, after I've taken some cash and simply uh, putting them back into Bitcoin and Ethereum. I think they have the better uh, longevity. Uh, but in saying that, I am still sort of dollar cost averaging as well into alts. So it's weird. I'm taking money out and putting money in at the same time. Uh, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to continue to put money uh, into cryptocurrencies. I might just simply, again, be going into USD uh, and putting it in BlockFi and things like that. But I don't know. I change my mind quite regularly. Uh, and yeah. 
What I say today, I might change my mind, my mind tomorrow, and it's all just based on the market sentiment. But at the moment, things have been, uh, especially in the altcoins, move, moving really hard. So I do think that's going to dry up at some stage. You know, these kind of mini altcoin runs and altcoin seasons, they don't last forever. They don't like go for months and months and months. They have spurts, and it might be a week or two weeks if you're lucky. Things go crazy, and then everything slows down. Uh, and again, you're either going to have a big correction or the profits then get moved back into, you know, basically Bitcoin and, and Ethereum uh, to a certain point and they will start to run and then they'll get to their point where they level off. And again, maybe that's at 60,000, you know, Bitcoin just can't break that $60,000 mark and Ethereum's at, you know, 2,000, uh, 2,500 and likewise, they're just stuck there for a while and they're just ranging. All of a sudden, profits from then come back out and they go into the altcoins. And that is the cycle. And it will just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat until we get to the blow off top where there just is no more money and everyone starts to take their profits uh, and we get into the next bear market cycle. Uh, exactly when that's going to happen, who knows? And again, when I'm taking profits in cash, I'm not taking too much at all. Uh, I'm really more trying to put the profits into Bitcoin and Ethereum because I do believe in both these projects and I think they have long-term value. But in saying that, we're going to need cash for when the next bear market happens because, you know, most likely, now no one knows, the next bear market, Bitcoin will probably lose 50%, I think. Let's say it gets to, I don't know, $325,000. I would say it's going to retrace to probably around 100000 if not maybe even more. So it could be more than a 50% retracement. But again, it really kind of depends on what the top price is and when the big institutional buyers sort of stopped getting in. When you're not hearing too much information about big institutional buyers getting in anymore, and let's say that's at around about sort of 100,000, well, that's probably going to be uh, around about where it will retrace to next time. Uh, but again, no guarantees. Uh, there will be big companies and big business that get in just to simply flip it for cash. They don't believe in Bitcoin. But I would say if we got to 300 and something thousand dollars, that the low uh, could possibly go down to about sort of 40, 50,000. But again, I, I could be wrong. No one really knows. We go based on what has happened on previous history, and it's a 70 to 90% correction uh, for sort of Bitcoin. Uh, and the other ones, they do even worse. Uh, so that's why I'm taking profits. I just wanted to let everyone know I have taken profits, not too much. Uh, I am still, you know, expecting much more upside. All right. Well, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. If you're in those altcoins at the moment, you should be seeing massive gains. And I'll see you next time.